What's up Venture Crew? Today, we're just gonna run through real quickly some of the most popular and best WordPress themes for you to use to build your WordPress website. Here we go. All right, so jumping in here, uh, the purpose of this video is gonna be pretty quick. All we wanna do is just kinda give um, anybody who's watching this video, a good idea of just some of the, we're gonna go through eight of the most popular WordPress themes that are out there and available for you to use, whether uh, you're building your site for the first time in WordPress or whether you're an advanced agency and you're just looking for good theme ideas. Uh, sometimes people just need a good list to say, how can we start and look at you know what the best WordPress themes are that are out there? So our team at Bandicoot Marketing is our agency and we install themes all the time for clients and we kind of have our own little ecosystem that we use, but we also you know, have to install different themes and edit and care for different themes at different times. So we're familiar with all of these themes and we have fully tested each and every one of them and worked with, worked with them along the way through the years. So let's jump right in and go to our first theme, which is Astra. So Astra is, you know, if you've been around WordPress at all for any period of time, you're familiar with Astra most likely. It is by far one of the most popular themes that's used on WordPress. Uh, it's used on really basic free sites that people will put out there all the way up to uh, some really, you know, uh, some really big, almost like fancier agency sites and different things like that. So Astra um, has lots of different features that are packed into it. Um, it's one of the most popular that's out there for a reason. It's very easy to use. It's very easily and fully compatible with all of the major page builders that are out there. And it's, uh, it's got really good site speed scores and all that kind of stuff. So it's not quite as good as Generate Press and some of the other uh, themes that we'll look at uh, later on in the video that are out there. But Astro is really, really good, especially if you're a beginner. So we have a blog article that we'll link to in the bottom that goes through all of these themes and just lists out a lot more detail of pros and cons of each of them. But basically, Astra is really good. I would say it's probably the best theme for you to use if you are a beginner with WordPress. You can see here Chris Lemma, um, Adam Pricer, a lot of people that are um, kind of bigger names in the WordPress space that review a lot of different themes and all that kind of stuff really recommend Astra. Um, I just talked to a larger agency the other day that we work with um, that's a big company that is still using Astra for their, their WordPress website. So Astra is really, really good. The starter templates are amazing as well for Astro, so that's another reason it's great for beginners because you don't have to have any sort of real knowledge about coding or anything like that. They've got this huge amount of starter templates that you can use for it uh, to kind of really get started really quick with your website. Um, you know, like let's say that you wanted to do a, a nature like travel blog website. Here you go, you can get this set up and installed really, really fast. So Astra is great for beginners. It's one of the most popular that's out there. And if you're just looking to really get started quickly and have some really amazing looking themes to get you started to build your WordPress website, Astra is absolutely one of the best places to start. Okay, so Astra is great. The other thing I'll mention that's also mentioned in the article that we wrote about this, um, this video as well, is that the Astra theme is also one of the better themes that's available for WooCommerce as well. So if you wanna get started with WooCommerce as a beginner as well, and you wanna um, have you know some a WooCommerce theme that's kind of pre-built and ready to go and just start out of the box, Astra is also a great option for you in there. Okay, so let's move on from there. And uh, the next theme and ecosystem we'll look at is Divi. So again, Divi is a pretty popular name in the space. If you've been around WordPress for a long time um, at all, or even really just a little bit, you know of Divi. Divi is great and it's really feature packed. It comes with an awesome, uh, its own builder basically that powers the Divi theme. So I would say that the Divi builder is probably its biggest strength and its biggest weakness at the same time. And the reason is because uh, the Divi builder is very powerful. You can do lots and lots of things even for free kind of out of the box with the Divi theme and everything that comes along in the free version of it. However, um, it does take a little bit of a learning curve to learn Divi. So if you're willing to, and have the time to put in the time to kind of learn the Divi ecosystem and all the little quirks and features of how to use the Divi builder and the Divi theme together in conjunction, then Divi is really, really good. There's whole entire you know um, groups on the, on the internet and Facebook groups and support groups and all that kind of stuff that people that only use Divi exclusively and build and use it to build their sites. So it's a really, really powerful ecosystem that's out there. Again, it just does take a little bit of time up front to kind of invest in learning as you can see here all these different ways that the builder works because it's definitely its own thing it's got its own quirks its own features its own views front end and back end and all that kind of stuff <clears throat> layout libraries different things that you can do in it 
So um, very, very powerful. You can see here all the features that are here in the in the Divi theme. Again, there is a free version of the Divi theme that you can use to just kind of get starter sites built and all that kind of stuff. And then behind the scenes, Divi also has um, a really good high quality uh, set of uh, premium features and themes as well. So with Divi, you can um, check out the pricing here. Um, you have an $89 a year option, and then you also have a $249 lifetime option uh, for Divi. So Divi is powered by Elegant Themes, who's the larger company that owns Divi and several other products that they uh, make available to the WordPress world. But Divi is one of the uh, other best options that's out there. Definitely you should check it out and take a look at this whole ecosystem. Uh, a lot of people dive in and love it and never go back to anything else. Yeah, even some of the more popular options out there like uh, Elementor and different things like that. So Divi is the second one that we'll look at and it's a it's an awesome uh, thing to try out. Divi is also great because you can try out their premium features for 30 days like many of these themes and just you can play around with it, uh, build a couple of sites, add a couple of items to your pages, see so if you can get everything spun up, see if it's a great option for you. So Divi is number two. All right, moving on. Uh, the next is the Hello theme from Elementor. So Elementor is obviously the, the most popular page builder that's available for WordPress, okay? So if you're not familiar with what a page builder is, as you can see here from the video on the screen, Elementor is going to allow you um, to basically build your site using a visual builder like this, just like Divi and just like Astra would, but Astra doesn't have its own builder. Uh, Astra really just uses um, one of the other builders or the Gutenberg built-in builder. So with, with Elementor, um, it's also its own ecosystem, right? So Elementor has its own builder pretty much along the same lines as Divi. However, in our opinion, um, as we build you know hundreds of websites each year, Elementor's uh, page builder ecosystem is a little bit quicker to pick up. It's a little bit more user-friendly and it's a, use, a little bit easier for especially non-techie, non-coder type of uh, site builders to pick up Elementor and, uh, and use it to build. Now the Hello theme, for Elementor, the reason it's on this WordPress best themes list is because the Hello theme is Elementor's just clean from scratch theme. So it doesn't come with any pre-built, uh, it does come with available starter sites, but it doesn't come just like out of the box with all the elements already there. Um, we use um, Hello at our agency when we build sites for clients because um, when we build a custom WordPress theme, we will build it on top of the, the Hello theme by Elementor normally. Um, we found that it's a really good balance between our customers and our clients being able to uh, to build visually with Elementor, um, but also it's got good site speed and all those kind of stuff that you really look for in a good website. But a good balance between usability on the on the back end as far as designing like you're seeing in the video there and speed and the technical elements as well. So Elementor, again, uh, Elementor page builder ecosystem. It does come with over a hundred just pre-made designs that you can just dump right in there. So that's great as well. Um, that you can just kind of import all the sections into Elementor. There's a WooCommerce builder as well, although that WooCommerce builder for Elementor and the Hello theme is again, I would probably say a little bit more advanced. If you are building a WooCommerce store, but you kind of know what you're doing, you could use Hello and use WooCommerce, uh, but there's a lot of work to it if you don't really know what you're doing and you're new to WordPress. Um, so speed is good on Elementor. It's again, not as good as some of the other options that we'll look at in this video, um, but basically the, the Hello theme uh, built on Elementor, it's extremely popular it's used you know widely across the industry and it's an excellent choice as well uh, to use as a base theme for building an Elementor the last thing I'll say with the hello theme is again I would lean towards this being a little bit more of an advanced option so if you're a beginner I would not recommend using the hello theme just because um, it's a little bit harder to pick up and kind of there's a lot to do when you're building your site and all that kind of stuff uh, but if you're an agency or a little bit of a an assembler or a little bit more advanced site builder that's familiar with WordPress and Elementor, then Hello Theme is an excellent choice. All right, moving on to Cadence. So there are lots of you out there who might say, you know what, um, you know what, Luke and the, the venture team, I want to use Gutenberg. I really want to use the basic kind of out of the box WordPress builder and not use any third party page builders or anything like that. If that's you, then Cadence is by far one of your best options to use while building your site. Cadence WP came along a couple years ago. Uh, when it first came on the scene, it got a lot of attention in the market because it kind of came pretty quickly after Gutenberg was launched and announced by the automatic team. Okay, so Cadence is gonna be definitely one of the best, I would say, if you want to use Gutenberg, this is one of the choices you should pay attention to. So Cadence has a lot of really good page builder-like features, but their block builder, again, lets you use Gutenberg um, and, and the uh, the builder there. So they come along with these different kits, um, this shop kit for WooCommerce, uh, theme and blocks, and then conversions. So they have some conversion-focused things for those of you building marketing websites uh, for clients or for yourself. 
Um, and so they also focus on speed and um, and uh, accessibility here. So Cadence is also one of the cleaner themes, I would say. It doesn't come bloated with a lot of things. Like Astra is has a lot of good design options in it, as an example. But it you know it definitely um, comes bloated with a lot of things. Uh, so we want to make sure um, that um, you know we're nice and clean from an SEO site speed standpoint. So um, Cadence is definitely um, a, a really clean theme. It does come with some starter templates. So you can see here you've got lots of good starter templates to kind of dump in there. And these are built on the block builder. So you can go in there and you can move things around. And this is all using Gutenberg. Everything you're looking at here is using Gutenberg. Okay. So this is an example, a uh, summer camp theme. And you can see here all of this is using the Gutenberg builder. So this is really, really good. Gets you a long way if you want to start using Gutenberg and kind of come along the way there. Um, but but again, just to review here and just to kind of reiterate, Cadence is going to be one of your best options if you want to use Gutenberg. If you're using one of the other page builders like Elementor or Beaver Builder or Oxygen or Brizzy or one of those others, I would probably stay away from Cadence just because the compatibility is not what they focus on. So if you want to use Gutenberg, Cadence is one of your options here for sure. All right, moving on to Aveda. So Aveda um, is kind of like Divi in that it's a really big ecosystem. Uh, this is the by far the best selling theme on ThemeForce. So there may be some of you out there that don't really want to pay um, a premium amount for the pro features on a yearly or annual basis. You just don't like the idea of paying a subscription fee. And if that's you, then Aveda is great for you because the awesome thing about Aveda is that it's available for purchase on ThemeForest. And what that means is, and that's ThemeForest.net. And uh, we'll link to uh, this in the article down below and in the description, but basically Aveda, is uh, available for a one-time purchase from ThemeForest. So you basically purchase it one time on ThemeForest and then you get automatic updates for life. So it's a it's a definitely a cheaper option if you're on a budget and you want a really good powerful theme that lets you kind of build, focus on conversions. You can do WooCommerce with Aveda. It's another good WooCommerce option. Um, comes with a really good uh, amount of starter templates that you can have access to and use. But basically, um, Aveda is that. If, if you're if you're cost um, conscious and you really are wanting to focus on just having a good theme, uh, but you would like to you know not have to pay the annual fees or the ongoing monthly fees for one of the other theme ecosystems, then Aveda is a great choice for you. Uh, the support is great because it's offered through ThemeForest. You can get great support through ThemeForest as well. Uh, the only downside I would say to Aveda, if you're considering all these different theme options, is that Aveda also has its own builder. So it's kind of like its own ecosystem, just like Divi, a little bit like Elementor, but it's probably a little bit more of a learning curve. So it's a, li it's a little bit like Elementor, I'm sorry, uh, like Divi in that you've got just you know something to learn up front right so again if you've got time you want to take your time to learn this you really want to dive in and commit to an ecosystem where you could learn this builder and then build lots and lots of different sites for yourself or clients using it then by all means try this out um, they will also give you your money back within 30 days or so um, if you if you aren't happy with what you're seeing. So there's a good commitment there as well. But Aveda, again, Theme Forest, a little bit cheaper, a little bit more of an upfront learning curve here with um, with Aveda. There are these 83 uh, pre-built starter sites. So just like the others, you can see here that um, they have a good amount of starter sites used by lots of people. You can see there's over 700,000 business owners or people that have purchased this theme. So it's got a good support team that's behind it uh, from the team at Theme Fusion, and they've been around for a long time, okay? So you can basically see here, um, here are the starter sites you can see for Aveda. So lots of different, um, like, you know, tons of different options across all different types of websites. So whatever you're building from an accountant to a builder, to a butcher, to a winery, to a financial advisor, plumbers, you know, they have pre-built websites just for you. All right, so that's Aveda. Let's move on again uh, to Bloxy. So um, in our list, we have a couple of Gutenberg focused um, themes and Bloxy is definitely the second one. So uh, Cadence WP was the first one. Bloxy is going to be your second option if you're focused on Gutenberg. Okay, so Bloxy is uh, a little bit newer theme that's a little bit newer to the scene. So if you want something that's really old and tried and true and tested, then you might want to go with uh, one of the other themes. But Bloxy is a little bit newer. But as you can see here, I would say these designs across the board, you know, we design lots of websites for clients. These designs are, you know, while they're simple, they're very modern and very up to date. You know, these designs have been updated launched within the last couple of years. And so they're very fresh and kind of what we would build in today's world for a website for a client. 
So you can see here that um, Bloxy is also like Cadence WP. It's a little more clean, a little more minimalistic, and a little more focused on site speed, optimization, all that kind of stuff. Um, Bloxy does also, just like all the other options, come with a lot of starter sites that get you started. So it's lots of options here to kind of throw in here and get you started. And um, the one of the focuses for Bloxy, of course, is um, is the Gutenberg Builder as well, okay? So Bloxy, is, um, it's got a lot of really good features here. Um, they've got this header builder. Uh, that you can use and they've got all these different um, fe features and elements that you can put in content blocks and hooks here um, advanced menus you can see here just lots and lots of features so definitely jump on and, and check out all these features that are on here uh, available for you to use there's a WooCommerce um, features that are built in as well which makes this great to use with WooCommerce uh, and all that good stuff. All right. So Bloxy again is one of the other um, one of the other options we would say is really good if you're going to focus on Gutenberg and you really want to use that built-in Gutenberg um, lightning fast, you know, kind of um, code splitting is another feature here for developers. So if you're more, I would say, technical, you want to use Gutenberg and you want to get something up and running that's really site speed optimized, Bloxy is a great choice. Uh, pricing wise on Bloxy, you have a couple different options here, $49 a year for one site. So it's just a personal site builder there. Five sites will get you onto the $69 year, a year plan. And then the agency plan is $99 a year for unlimited sites. Okay. And you also have a no risk guarantee for 14 days as well. So again, jump on there, download the free version or uh, pay for the pro version, check it out, see if it works for you. All right, last couple here we're coming down to. So Neve is one of those themes that's powered by the team at Theme Mile. Theme Mile has been around for a long time. Uh, people that know what they're doing in the WordPress space. And so Neve, I would say, is one of those themes that's kind of older and tried and true. It's a little bit more basic, comes with a little bit less features out of the box, especially in the free plan. Uh, fewer starter sites, I would say, than some of the other themes, but it's definitely kind of one of those real basic beginners would be great using Neve, um, and it's just been around for a long time. And so Neve is kind of one of those popular themes you see on all the, you know, what's the best WordPress, best WordPress themes lists and articles that are out there. And so Neve is great for, uh, again, beginners, uh, something that's just, uh, you want something that's kind of bulletproof, been around for a long time, really good uh, site speed and optimization, but a little bit more basic. It's gonna be a little bit more basic options. I would say maybe it's a little bit less intuitive to figure out how to do the different features and stuff like that. Um, but you got a couple features here, 100 uh, different um, starter sites that are available just like the others. But I would say, as you can see here, these are a little bit more basic designs. If you compare it to something like Bloxy or something like um, even the Aveda designs that are available and the uh, Astra designs that are available, something like this is gonna be a, a little bit more old school. But again, tried and true, real, right on with, um, you know, with uh, kind of a core WordPress site. So if you have really basic needs for what you wanna do and you want a theme that's really well supported by a really great team at ThemeMile, then go ahead and check out Neve for sure. All right, the last one we'll look at is called Generate Press. So Generate Press is our last option that would be an excellent Gutenberg option as well. So Generate Press, as you can see here, they pitch themselves as the per perfect foundation for your WordPress site. So Generate Press is for you guys out there that are SEO wonks, that are really focused on site speed and optimization, and you want the absolute cleanest possible option. No bloat, no extra this or that, and you really wanna spend the time to, to um, to very, uh, you know, like a, in a nitpicky way, build from scratch. Generate Press is your ecosystem to use. Again, takes a little bit of time to learn. Ongoing, you're gonna be frustrated down the road a little bit with like, I just don't have this carousel that I can just throw in there, right? But your site's gonna be blazingly fast. That's kind of how it goes with Generate Press. Your pros are that it's clean, it's fast, um, and it's got a whole good ecosystem around it. Your cons are that your site library is a little bit smaller. It's not gonna just as be, you know, as wheel and deal as something like Elementor or Astra. You're not gonna find just like a ton of kind of like really awesome designs that you just throw in and they're just kind of present themselves and then you customize and you're ready to go. This is for a long-term commitment to site speed and optimization. That's what Generate Press is, okay? This also, I'll mention, is one of the recommended op theme options for the got from the guys at Authority Hackers, who are uh, obviously an authority in the space, and these guys definitely recommend Generate Press. They use it for a lot of their own websites just because of its bare bones approach to it. Right, it's very clean, very well optimized. As you build and add things into the site, it stays clean, it stays bare bones. 
Um, so it's less features, but if you're just focused on really high quality content and you're not as concerned about the design and the user experience for your users, then Generate Press is absolutely your option. You know, your con is gonna be, it may not look as good as other sites and all that kind of stuff. Um, and, and all those types of things, um, even though they do have, you know, Kickstarter websites and starter templates, just like the others, they're just not going to be as good as the others. So if design is really important to you and just really good, awesome looking features and UI UX for your customers, generate press is not your go, but if SEO optimized hundred percent page speed scores, really clean, bare bones, no bloat is what you're focused on. Like maybe you're building for SEO or you're building an authority website as an affiliate or anything like that, then generate press is by far um, your way to go there. So let's take a look at the site library real quick. Real quick. Again, you can see here, clean, <laughs> very bare bones. This is kind of like, you know, starter content sites, affiliate sites, um, different things like that. This is a great option for you. Um, and then there's also pricing on the premium version as well. So the other cool feature about Generate Press, as opposed to a lot of the other themes that we looked at for their pro version, Generate Press is still held on to their one-time lifetime option, even though a lot of the other businesses have have uh, gotten rid of it. So a lot of businesses over the last couple of years in the WordPress world have actually gotten rid of their lifetime options. They just found that it's really hard to support those customers forever for that one lifetime payment. And so they've gotten rid of it, but Generate Press has kept it, and it's an amazing deal if you're gonna if you're gonna uh, build lots of sites and you're gonna commit yourself to the Generate Press ecosystem. Then the one-time lifetime payment at 249 is an amazing option there for you to be able uh, to check that out. They're also going to um, do a 30-day refund policy, as you can see here, um, listed on their page. So that's risk-free trial to just jump on, start building and uh, see how that goes for you. So Generate Press would be the last one there. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. Again, we will do individual reviews of each of these themes and show you how to install and get them set up and how to build your site with them. But for today, we just wanted to run through eight really awesome just base WordPress uh, theme options to kind of get you started and get you rolling with building your next website in the WordPress world. Hope you have an awesome day and we'll see you soon. Cheers.